Hey Internet, this is Daryl as a service. Um, I thought we'd take a quick look at Microsoft To Do today. Version 2.0 is released today and if we're looking at a quick tweet here, this is where it was all announced. Version 2.0 looking a lot more like Wonderlist. Um, a lot of likes, a lot of retweets, so a lot of people are happy about that. Some some great feedback there. Um, now, if you're going through to the, the blog post, you'll learn a lot more about what kind of work went into creating version 2.0 one of the really amazing things that we're seeing in this is it's getting a more customizable it's getting back to that more personalized look where we can get pictures behind the different lists that we create so a lot of good things that are happening there a lot of good things recently too um, so make your way through that of course um, take take a quick look at the um, at the uh, the blog post um, let's just take a quick look at Microsoft to do uh, Microsoft to do there we go so the update is available at least in the New Zealand App Store I'm not sure if it's arrived for you but here we go it was about 22 hours ago um, version 2.0 and some of you have probably already got that going now let's have a quick look at um, what we um, can see in the update now blatantly obvious right now there is is this great way of being able to, to um, change a background now at the moment I don't see a way to change the theme or background to something that I would like yet but uh, maybe custom photos are coming eventually um, we have the uh, um, ability to go through and you know use your your intelligent list of course so that's um, something that we have had for some time um, and I'm making good use of that um, I'll go through there and take some of the suggestions to add to my list but one of the things that I've really been taking advantage of recently are these uh, groups for the lists and these are um, areas where I'm able to um, you know put these lists together and as you can see I've got some there for for customers um, I've also got some community lists that um, I'm trying to run tasks for regarding 365 any blog posts that I'm putting together um, events um, so how about creating this list together with me or this group um, there's something that doesn't look quite right in the customer uh, group of lists um, why is shopping there hmm so I'm going to create a, a new group there called personal uh, personal we'll worry about capitalizing it later great so we've got our new new group there and we'll just drag and drop the shopping list down there so that's my list of items where I'm really struggling to remember more than three things when I go out to get things for for the family um, and we'll drag the personal list in there too um, so that's great uh, being able to use those those uh, groupings as well if we go into any of those lists you can see that there's also the option to have these really bold colors behind um, so that's in change we've got color or photo and you'll see some strong colors there you might find some of the lists when you create them that it'll auto select a color I'm not a big fan of these um, sort of watered down pastel -y kind of colors I quite like the bold ones but that's I guess personal preference um, and if you're like me you might color code things just to indicate that I am in my personal group and all my personal lists are um, in, in that sense there too um, what else was there let's go back to that blog post and see if there's anything else that was uh, so fresh look and feel um, with the, the new version um, it's going to be available to Windows Mac and Android oh to do has a dark mode across coming soon to iOS so I can't demonstrate to you the um, the dark mode for iOS but that's okay um, if you're enjoying the Android uh, Mac or Windows experience then uh, go check that out um, our smart daily planner so that's what we just showed you um, you can access those lists wherever you are and of course because it's part of the Microsoft family what I've also been enjoying over the recent months are these um, intelligent lists there for assigned to me um, which are tasks that might have come from a planner that I'm involved in and um, also uh, flagged email right so anything that I have flagged there that I think I need to, to deal with now the key thing here is as you're making those choices um, you've got to choose whether or not you're using your work account as the primary account for to do um, as you sign into that then um, you're able to access planner if you're using it you're able to fire through those um, flagged emails if you want to as well 
we don't yet have I don't think the ability to add multiple accounts no, so we have to sign in and out to be able to um, add in maybe a personal account alongside with our work account and have those two lists of tasks mixed together. But all up, pretty happy with that new update, right? I mean, look, I'm really inspired to, to <laughs> be able to get on with my tasks there. I know it's a beach, but um, that maybe that's my goal is to clear all those tasks off and get to the beach once the, the list is empty. So that was Daryl as a service signing off for... Uh, Regarding 365, yeah, nah, this, this is what the, the live stream is about. Um, tune in again if you're keen to, to see other things that I cover off in the technology space, productivity space. Um, you see I'm live streaming in different places and I've got my YouTube channel at Daryl as a Service. Catch you again soon.